Olá galera do canal, hoje vai ser um vídeo diferente, depois eu explico, mas agora eu vou falar sobre Android e sobre TV Box, e aí ao, quem me pediu, é, vou ter que falar em inglês. Uh, so, um, for those who never come to this channel, uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Wilson, and uh, I'm gonna uh, make a, a video about uh, Android Box, and then specifically about some modules uh, similar to this guy. It's uh, X96 Max. It's a very nice Android Box uh, that some people know as Android TV, and uh, this box has a. a like majority of this kind has a, a small issue with this screen rotation so for those who want to play some uh, games like a pinball game the, the way I, I was looking at and you need to rotate the screen in <clears throat> in a portrait mode uh, the thing is this box does not allow it and there is many other box in a similar model with this box. They also do not allow it. It's uh, it's uh, interesting why they not allow it. And I I was exploring and take a look in the in the in the various of the properties. And uh, I fortunately I was able to change that. Even the support guys when uh, I send them an email. They kind of proposed me to send a new firmware with quite a firmware change. It's a very dramatic change. And also they told me um, with a, a new firmware, I was uh, not be able to uh, get a auto updates from the website. So that will mean eventually in the future, uh, sorry about the noise, uh, there is a construction site uh, beside here. And then eventually, in the future, if they come to a new version of Android for this box, uh, so your box will not be uh, updated. So, and uh, I will not do any specific reviews about this guy. So I will go direct, straight forward to whatever it is. So, and uh, I will just turn the video all right, so here's our video. I will zoom a little bit. Yeah, okay, that's enough. So, I will demonstrate for you right here by trying to rotate the screen. So it's a landscape. I will try to rotate. So it does not rotate, you know? It does not rotate. So, what do I have to do? <coughs> First of all, because the launcher that original comes on this box is a, a very standard launch and when you do rotate <coughs> the launch is going to get messy and you will uh, find yourself having some difficulties to access your application so I chose this launcher it, very simple one it's a, a launcher for android you will be able to see on the play store you can start install start installing this launcher before you do anything then you install this uh, orientation control when you install this orientation control it will come with uh, a few questions like uh, asking you to have access to your to your box you know um, making you to provide oh many many ads sorry and uh, adding you to <coughs> override some uh, uh, those features and uh, I already done this uh, there is a settings for each application where you can have your specific application that need to be on uh, 
portrait, like pinball. Uh, I left this landscape because uh, I'm not going to twist, but I <coughs> I can uh, change the back. So this is the launch. So, and uh, after you install the orientation control, so you're gonna need to install the terminal emulator. So the terminal emulator is for you to access your operation system in the Android. Another thing, your Android box need to be rooted because the root access is essential to change the, the file properties that's going to allow you to rotate this box. So um, I advise uh, you need to be very careful on the next steps um, and then you will be able to uh, override this block from this box and other similar box that use Android 9. So let's go start. Oh, as uh, all Android is, is, a, is like a phone, I have plugged um, a mouse and a keyboard on this box. And uh, when you ask for uh, a terminal, it's come with the uh, QWERT keyboard and uh, uh, you just press ESC once and it, it will just uh, show you only the, the terminal mode. So you access, oops, sorry, you ask your SU, you become a, a root access. Uh, for this specific box, uh, the file we need to change is on the vendor location. I will just list this file at vendor slash build. So that is the file we need to change. So now uh, we go into edit this file. So to edit this file, I'm going to use a VI editor. It's a very technical uh, editor. Many people may do not know how to use it. So pay attention on those steps and you will not uh, mess up your file. So VI and I will be able to see my file. Here's my file. And I will use, use arrow down don't don't use any other keyboard because sometimes as you use like home or and they will uh behave like android behave and they will not behave as an editor so let's use just a arrow down arrow up arrow left or arrow right so here's the line i want to change persist sys app rotation as you can see, is force to land. I will change that. How do I change this? So first of all, very carefully, I will delete this. And, and then I will press I. That put the VI on edit mode. I. Then I move my arrow to the right. And then I will write port. Port is for portrait and will force. And this step is very important. Uh, to get out of the VI edit mode, I need to press ask. But as it's gonna behave on the Android, when I press ask, it will close my window, but it will not actually close my terminal it will just go back to the home and i will be able to come back so let's do this i will press ask because i need to exit from the edit mode so ask see i will come back to my editor and ask again and now i will press column because column is going to open my VI 
so I can prompt my uh, command, my options. So now I want to do write. I use W to write and I want to exit. So I want to put Q as quit. So it, oh, it's on a read mode. So what did I miss? So I need to put this file on on a write mode. How do I do this? Because I am, I am on a root mode and the whole file system on Android is on a read mode. So I need to change because uh, first of all, depends on your system, uh, this vendor is on uh, is mounted from the different file system. So I use df to see if my vendor is a, a file system separate from my root folder. And it is. As you can see, you have uh, the vendor here, right here. So it's a separate mounting point. So I will use mount mount dash o for overwrite read and write comma remount that will overwrite and remount my file system on uh, read write mode vendor be careful on use this command you know then, all right, now I will be able to save whatever I change on this file. Come back to the file. Here. Port. Ask. All right, now I need to put it back, otherwise I can damage my system. I put it back on the read-only mode. Read-only mode, then, then now I need to reboot my system. And one thing I noticed, some, eventually, when I reboot, the system just uh, hang out and do not come along. So what I going to do, I will do reboot and soon I see the splash page from the Android box, I will uh, unplug from the power and then plug it back. That will be a very fresh reboot. Okay, let's go. All right, turn it off and just turn it back on. Turn it back on. To take a little, a few seconds. É, pro pessoal do Brasil, um, eu vou <coughs> ver se eu coloco legenda nesse vídeo. Ou então, se vocês preferirem, eu posso gravar o vídeo em português também, tá? Well, it's coming back. And uh, we will going to see if this initial change has made my rotation to work. If not, that is a, an additional because this depends on the on the on the H box. So now I'm gonna open this application and uh, we'll see if the rotation will work. Wow, it did work. Now I come back. All right, see. Now, if I open, I will not open my application because, uh, oh, I will. 
Oh, well, let me just uh, change one application. Uh, the Williams, Williams, Pinball, Pinball Williams, right. I will put it in a <coughs> portrait and so when I open my Williams, it's gonna rotate my screen. So this this guy is a pinball game, and uh, it's very nice to play on on a portrait mode. It's not nice to play. See, it's very nice. Okay, let me come back. All right, just real quickly, you just see. See, very cool, huh? All right. So now, now comes the thing, you know, he's not going actually. Get out the game. So, come back to home, and when come back to home, everything is back to landscape. All right, that's cool, huh? So, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and it uh, was a little bit longer, but it was very helpful. Um, and uh, please subscribe to the channel. I, I know it's going to be uh, very tough because... Uh, my channel is mainly in Portuguese, but eventually I'm going to do videos in English and Portuguese. And when not, I will put a subtitles and you're going to be able to follow. É isso aí, pessoal. Muito obrigado. E, por favor, subscreve no canal, mesmo que o vídeo está em inglês, para o pessoal que vai acessar os Android Box. É, eu acho que você não vai ter dificuldade de seguir os passos que eu coloquei, tá? É, não tem segredo, é bem simples a alteração. Tome cuidado ao, ao mudar do modo Read Only para o modo é, Read Write. Não esqueça de voltar, porque pode danificar o seu sistema. Não quero que isso aconteça com você, tá? Esse é um vídeo educativo. E pode resolver o problema de muita gente. Eu já vi muita gente devolver o box porque ele não faz rotacionamento, tá? Então, é isso aí, pessoal. Vamos. Subscreve, dá um joinha, tá, pessoal? E me ajuda aí, é, mesmo na minha lerdeza de colocar mais vídeos, você, por favor, me ajuda aí, contribui. Faz comentários, critica, pede coisas. Eu sempre olho meus comentários, eu não recebo muitos, mas eu sempre respondo, eu sempre procuro ajudar qualquer um que esteja com problemas. E é isso aí, galera. Tá? Então, fiquem, se cuida, tá? E vamos pra frente. Falou, galera.